I think it's been four or five hours since I posted. Having breakfast, and today we'll test out the new system. And we'll go to Shinjuku, and we'll see how everything works, what the temperature's going to be like. And, uh, now where's the box? The box finished printing last night. And it looks pretty good. Hopefully it fits where, right behind the seat, right above the tire, where there would normally be a, a fender. But, uh, yeah, a little bit of monster, a little bit of coffee, sandwich, and I should be good to go. Thank you very much. See you tonight. Welcome back. All right, let's finish off the video. I like how I start my morning with coffees and monsters, and it doesn't change much throughout the day. Oh, so good. Instant coffee. God's gift to man. All right, today... I like how it started off optimistic, but in the end, we were met with fireworks. It's cold. Now, do we go to the snack or do we go to what exploded today? Let's have a, a snack because it was one of those days today where. Oh, today's snack is a, a cream bread with a banana inside. It's sugary, soft everything I need after a fun day. Now the good news is, there's always good and bad news. Let's start with the good news. The good news is, the, the with 12 volts and the parts I had printed out, it worked just fine. Absolutely fine. Went all the way Shinjuku, all the way back. It assists you more than the other one did. Mmm. It's an actual banana in there. This is really good. So, it went all the way to Shinjuku, and it was good, and I have video of that. It was a lot of fun, we went out there to pick out some glasses. I'm blind as a bat, but uh, they can fix me with putting little pieces of glasses up against my eyes. I'm sure it has nothing to do with wearing sunglasses at night. I'm sure that's not why my vision's all messed up. But, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get last this Monday. You'll probably see that too. But the, the, the system worked. It accelerates a little faster than before. Um, even though it's the same parts with the bigger motor, they, they swung just fine. Nothing was out of the ordinary. It made contact just right. It swings out whenever it's deactivated. Like the momentum of it slowing down is enough to swing the arm outward. And that's great because it, it, that means it totally disengages the system or the, 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 the friction. And then when you turn it back on, the momentum just kicks them back into the frame, which is perfect. Absolutely perfect. And I'll show you some video of that too. But, I got greedy. And everything has a limit, and I'm trying to find out what the limit of everything is. So what I did is I upped the power from 12 volts to 24 volts. Nothing else changed. I just switched out the, the small battery for this bag, big boy. And it was scary. Like, way scarier than I thought it would have been. It kicks out harder, faster. Everything has just an, an intense amount of friction. It, everything has, like, an intensity to it. This is the one that didn't break. So this is the hinge that it was on. That you'll see in the video with the with the 12 volt system and, and it does just fine for 12 volts it's absolutely perfect but when you kick up the juice some things fly loose <laughs> and this thing broke on the other side so uh, not to be surprised i mean it's pla but yeah it snapped i didn't even go to pass fast uh, past the uh, half throttle it really really kicks in so I made a bigger gear, and you see it's a lot bigger than the other one was, or I'm sorry, a lot bigger the swing arm than the other one is. I guess it'll be like this. And I made it a little thicker as well. And you'll see in the video that the cap, the rubber part, flies off. So I went ahead and uh, I drilled holes in it, and then I, I printed out uh, just a simple cap. It's like three millimeters thick. 
with four holes on it that match exactly where the holes are on the on a mortar to keep the cap in place because when it spins it goes so fast that the rubber expands so much that that it just easily flies off but it's fun it looks really promising and if I can get it to stop snapping whenever I crank it on full power it will be probably a lot of fun to ride I don't have any footage of it right being ridden because it it stepped off pretty aggressively pretty quickly but uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Everything else seemed to work pretty well. Um, the bot battery or the, the controller box is, is perfectly fine. I actually left everything on the bike. I'm not worried of it being taken. It's just Tokyo, Japan. Nobody steals things. Everything stayed on the bike and that worked out pretty well. I might need to print out a cover for it. I probably will. And seal it up so that the with maybe a glue gun so that it's more waterproof or at least water resistant but uh, the good news is the system works bad news is if you double the power it doesn't last as long let's take a look and then uh, I'll walk you through what happened alright alright batteries my new control box and look how they pop out Twenty two volts, 